<laughs> Tomorrow's a big day for Holloway's Old Club 2. Bristol Rovers travel along the M4 to play local rival Swindon in a match which brings together some former Bristol City colleagues, as Phil Duffel explains. For a while, when they played together at Bristol City, Lee Peacock and Danny Coles were the best of friends. He lived with me for a bit, funnily enough. Uh, he's, he's a great lad. Looking forward to seeing him. Tomorrow, they're on opposing sides when Swindon Town host Bristol Rovers, and that means they have to become best of enemies. He's a local Bristol lad, so he'll be happy to be back there. But, um, yeah, we, I mean, you wish him all the best, you know what I mean? And I know he'll be a lot happier there, closer to his family and everything. And like I say, he's, a, he's such a great lad, but, I mean, I hope the results go well for him after Saturday. As a footballer, when, when you cross that white line, you know, is that old cliche, no friends, you know? And, just go out there, do a job and you know, buy each other a drink after. Mm. Orange Thanks. squash, of course. <laughs> There's a healthy respect off the field too, but also a steely determination to be on the right side of tomorrow's result. It's my hometown club, it was the, uh, the club I was brought up watching as a, as a kid, but uh, I can assure you nothing to give me more pleasure than uh, going there on, uh, on Saturday and getting a win. We've got to treat it as a cup tie because that's what derbies are all about. Uh, and in the end, with tackles have to be won, headers to be won, and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, the team that walks away with the uh, three points. As for the fans, well, they'll never be the best of mates. For them, it's the winning, not the taking part, that counts. When it comes to local derbies, it seems, you just can't please everyone. Phil Duffel for the West tonight. Well, there'll be sparks to at Swindon as they welcome Bristol Rovers. Always that extra edge when you're playing in a local derby. Both the managers admit that in these sort of games, it's the winning that's more important than playing well. It's a, a big game for us. Uh, being a derby as well, we've got to, we've got to come to the show, uh, roll our sleeves up, tackles and headers have to be won. And if we can do that, I'm comfortable we'll get a result. The confidence after um, a better couple of weeks, uh, results-wise, is, is improving. A uh, little bit of a belief is coming back as well, and, and the spirits is as good as it's ever been. So, you know, it's a game that uh, you know we're, we're we're full of anticipation for. And that match is ticket only for Rovers fans, and tickets are no longer on sale. Swindon without a win in four matches, needing points. They're on the attack here. This is Christian Roberts, goes down under the challenge there from Joe Jacobson. Referee Rob Stiles points to the spot. To the delight of the Swindon fans, they've been awarded a penalty. And up steps Christian Roberts. Keeper went the right way, but Roberts finds the net. And Swindon have the lead with 66 minutes on the clock. Christian Roberts with the power penalty. 1-0 to Swindon Town. Phillips went the right way, but it was a good penalty from Roberts. And there's uh, an off-the-ball incident there, I think, which has just been brought to the attention now of referee Rob Stiles involving Eiffel and Richard Walker. And the referee reaches for his pocket. And Gerald Eiffel is off. Swindon down to 10 men. To the delight of the Bristol Rovers fans. But the referee also awarding Richard Walker his marching orders as well. In that off the ball incident. And the referee needs to get a grip on this situation. As Walker trots over to the touchline. And there could be another red waved here by referee Styles. And he's really lost control of this one. And it looks as though Steve Elliott's in trouble. Swindon still leading and a rash challenge there from Zabubi. Didn't make contact. Referee Rob Stiles didn't like that. And Zabub becomes the fourth player to be sent off in this match. 